Hello, in this video I am going to take a quick look at the overall idea and architecture of Mesh Commander with the slides. Mesh Commander is an entirely web-based tool for connecting to Intel Active Management Technology, Intel AMT, and as computer management has gone more web-based and we are taking advantage of uh, the cloud in some cases or the um, you know, browsers have become a, a great way of hosting applications, especially in the management area, then it totally makes sense to be able to use all of the AMT features over, um, over a web uh, user interface. So Mesh Commander is a web UI. Uh, it is an entirely JavaScript tool for accessing AMT. And so there's different uh, versions of Mesh Commander. It's the same code base, but we're going to split out in different uh, versions. First, we're going to have the micro LMS version. This is a replacement to Intel AMT LMS that, uh, that provides the local services for AMT. Uh, we have an alternative version that uses uh, Mesh Commander built into it. The second one is a standalone one. This is the Node.js version. You can download it on the website. It's an EXE for Windows, 32-bit. Uh, you run it and you get Mesh Commander that way. It's kind of the typical way we used to do it. Then we have a uh, IIS website. So what you do is you install this website inside your uh, IIS web server and you can manage your local machines through the single portal, uh, Mesh Commander portal. And then lastly, we have a SKU for Mesh Central, so that if you're using MeshCentral.com, you can basically go on there, select Intel AMT, and over the cloud, access um, all your devices and take advantage of all those features. Now, in addition to this, all of Mesh Commander is open source, so you guys can take, um, take the source code and uh, basically release your own SKUs of it. So what are the features of Mesh Commander? There's a lot of them, uh, but we have a built-in KVM viewer that's entirely um, CSS. Uh, I mean, it is um, the canvas, HTML5 canvas. We have a serial over LAN terminal. We have IDER, power control, event log. So all the major features of Intel AMT are covered and we're adding more and we're improving all the time the console. But uh, even as of this recording, the uh, the console is quite capable and quite usable. So uh, that's it. Now, uh, on the underlying into architecture is kind of interesting because what you do is you have an HTML app and then you have a redirection. Uh, you know, we have the desktop and terminal. We have an AMT stack. We have a Wizman stack. And redirection is the redirection protocol uh, 16.9.9.4.5. And so what happens is that uh, the terminal and desktop are built on top of the redirection uh, library and AMT is built on top of the Wizman library. Now, the redirection and Wizman library need to access AMT and depending on how the, the uh, or how we target the tool, what SKU of the tool we want to build, we're going to have to use a different transport. For example, if we're using uh, Node.js to access AMT, we can use TCP directly. Uh, if we're using IIS, we can use WebSockets to IIS, and then IIS will perform the relay. So what, what's interesting about the architecture is that we have all these core modules that we use for AMT, and then we have a bunch of transport modules, and you can only include one of the transports. If you include two of the transports, uh, you know, the code won't work, but you're required to include only one of these transports. Um, and then once you you have one transport plus these libraries, or and when one transport and these libraries, then you can start building your HTML app on top. And we have sample code on how to do that um, available. So you should be able to, for example, do a remote desktop or a serial overland terminal or so on. You should be able to do these things very quickly with just very few lines of code. Now, the next slide. The This is the last slide. and one of the goals of Mesh Commander is really to make it adaptable to many different situations. There's different ways that AMT can be accessed, either locally through LMS as a standalone tool on the internet, as an IS portal on the internet, or through the cloud. 
And what I wanted to do here is have a single code base I would target all these different usages. Um, and so the, the UI is roughly the same on all of them. Sometimes there's, there's a little bit difference. There are differences. For example, IS has a toolbar where, um, uh, where Node WebKit has a menu bar. And um, for example, micro LMS doesn't have, uh, is only used for configuration. You can't use it for break fix. So there's no KVM, no serial over LAN, no power control, where these have KVM and power control. And of course, over the cloud, you need, you know, a whole bunch of different transport um, libraries and so on to go through Mesh Central or uh, whatever your, your uh, routing system is uh, here. So basically, that's Mesh Commander. It's an entirely web-based, adaptable uh, console for Intel AMT. Completely open source Apache 2.0, so you guys can grab the code, make some commercial products out of it. Uh, or you can just use the baseline uh, stuff that's released on the website. Hopefully it helps. Thank you so much.